Hello, we are just at the solar noon and I want to share with you and capture the moment of the, of the solar noon over the sundial. So let me turn the camera just to show you the, the shadows. Let's see. So first of all, I want to show you the inclination. I just put this table over here just to, to, to precisely uh, set the inclination of, the, of this uh, sundial. You know, in this location, the latitude is 33 degrees um, dot uh, 38. And let me show you that this is the measurement we have. It says, it says we have a variation between 40 and 38, but this is quite normal. So um, we will see that we are almost at the solar noon and the shadow. Let me change. Almost fell. The shadow is exactly at the center of the sundial. So we have the first witness over this sundial that we are getting to the equinox. And you know, this is just a few moments to get exactly on the moment of the solar noon. And we see that the shadow of the first string, according to the inclination, is in the middle. Let me change the position of the camera so you can see it better. Let me change it again and we're getting closer and closer to the solar moon. So this is the first witness that today is the equinox. And this is a, a confirmation, the third confirmation three years in a row of the, of the equinox based on the revelation of the book of Hanoch and also based on the revelation of the scriptures. This is pretty amazing actually. You know, everything is uh, set up pointing to the north with the proper inclination and there you have <laughs> there you have the witness and exactly in the moment of the solar moon okay i was making some measurements over the second witness the second sundial so far all the all the marks that i have been putting over the during the morning Align perfectly in a straight uh, line. As I told you in the previous video, we need to wait until the the end of the day in order to confirm in the second sundial. But uh, we have the first witness over here that this is right in the middle. And I show you the inclination is perfectly aligned to the dislocation. It's perfectly put on over the north, pointing to the north. And I will set the mark over this sundial. So give me just one second. I will do it with you. Here we have our friend that is uh, giving us the space here on the on this uh, on this place in order to put the sundial. And I will put the mark over here. So. This is the mark that we will use at the center, the middle of the day, in order to continue tracking the sundial on this, uh, 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 as the second witness. But uh, again, we have the, let me show you once more time. From here, we have the witness of this sundial that is currently on the center okay so so far we we have uh, the first witness that this is the four intercalary day this is the day 364 the equinox happening we will wait until the end of the day for the second witness the second sundial just to complete our journey for today you know if i have the final confirmation on the second sundial most probably tomorrow i'm not gonna make any measurement because the 
the the witness so far is is really uh, outstanding. Uh, we need to wait for the second one, and we will we will define uh, the most probably to declare the the beginning of the year tomorrow. Um, I told you we need to wait for the moon as well. So at least from the sun uh, revolution of the sun perspective, if everything goes fine in the second sundial, most probably it will declare the the beginning of the year tomorrow. Uh, according to the sun, but we will wait for the witness of the moon as well tomorrow night. So that's from the from the moment. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Shalom. Bye.